Abla de Glover has come a long way. As he paints at home in his Alliance for Artists gallery in Accra, the 84-year-old remembers the days when local artists could not rely on their art for survival, often doing other work to put food on the table. But those times are fast fading from memory. More Ghanaian artists now have unprecedented exposure and are making a living entirely from their work, thanks to galleries, festivals and art collectors. I know that if there is a national gallery that will cater for the preservation of the art, as well as the exposure, this nation will gain a lot. A co-founder of Ghanaian food export company Blue Skies, the year started buying local art in 1993, and now has over 550 pieces in his renowned collection, enough to start a national art gallery, a dream he shares with Glover. As Ghanaian art grows in reputation, a lot of it finds its way outside the country through expatriates and corporate buyers. And while this exchange of art for money is good business for artists, Glover and Aye see a need for public institution invested in keeping some local art in Ghana for Ghanaians to appreciate. So I came in contact with artists on a frequent basis. And through that, I got to know some of their problems, some, some of their problems. I could solve their problems. And uh, tried to do all kinds of things to popularize art. You know, it doesn't have to be big, museum. It just has to be nice, because the present National Museum is not in good shape. While they wait for government help to bring their dream to life, the globalization of Ghanaian art continues. It appears Glover and the year may yet see their national gallery come to life. Music